Port Harcourt is the capital of River State in Nigeria. The city is filled with various talents, and a lot of them are into music. But making it in the music industry has been rather difficult. However, a couple of musicians from Port Harcourt City have soared in their music careers and have gained national recognition. Mr. 2K, the Afropop musician, has gone against all odds to attain international recognition. I'm just Mr. 2K, my real name is B.A. David Jumbo. I'm from River State, Port Harcourt City, Hawaii. I do music for living, I do Afropop music. First of all, I want to say you look really nice with the hair. When I think of Mr. 2K, I think of a guy who came out of uh, Port Harcourt and actually um, did something which none of his peers have done. Uh, he's created a buzz for himself, not just here, but across the borders internationally as well. And that's huge. That's a big thing. I mean, you see him regularly on international music stations. Uh, he's on radio there, has a little buzz going on. And that's something I think others need to emulate and follow. You just, you just have to be yourself, no matter what you do, believe in who you are and where you are. You started with What's a Side Boy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> What's a side boy? Tell us about what's a side boy. What inspired the song? Uh, okay, the environment inspired the song. I grew up from there, you know, as a child and everything. Mm -hmm. And so I saw, I saw the lifestyle there. And then uh -huh. when I had the, some people have wrong impression about the place. You know, they feel that people, people living down there are hoodlums, prostitute, um, criminal, and militants, and the rest of them. Nothing good can actually come from there. I went to the studio, I created a song called What's the Side Boy and Jonathan put that this then it's not what you think. It's way, way different because there are people living out there, there are better people, there are good houses down there. Mr. 2K has been a part of notable shows in different parts of Nigeria, performing alongside lots of great artists. Yeah, have you done any notable shows? Yeah, that? sure I did. I've done with Two Face at DBA, Two Face Campus Connect, and I've done for NTM Who Rock and More. NTM Rock the more. I also did NTM Power of 10, I did um, Airtel at um, end of year, but that was December and that was cool for me. I've done a couple of shows, I've done a lot of shows I cannot remember. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. 2K just got off the stage. Yeah. How was the energy like, man? Yeah, it was mad, you know what I mean? Crazy, I know. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have this confidence that I know once I sing anything right now, they're going to because they like it. So. They brought me this far, they've been supporting me, so they still love me, so I'm doing what they love, that's it. The original what the side boy, the only man when they run this town, ladies and gentlemen, the record representative, Buga, make some noise, Buga, Buga, I did Buga Mo Beach Carnival as well, oh, yes. that, was, that was Mr. 2K and, and 2 Face. It was 20,000 people out wow. there and it's massive, young, old, and young people there. But the Bukuma Beach party was me and Two Face and Okay. So we were actually the, the major art for the show. The fans were, were something else, the crowd was something else. We used to even gain access into the place was for something else. So it was actually a wonderful experience for me. And when they mentioned my name, the crowd went mad and everything. As I came out, <laughs> same thing. So it was like, wow. So, so when it, so when I was like, whoa, this is good. This is good. Track called "Run This Town" and that is by Mr. Two K, our special guest today. Nigeria, representing BBC, representing Capital FM, representing Kiss FM in the building. Mr. Two K, Rockin' Records, come up, man. Let's go. Young. Don't give me a little
your bar, Mr. Tukey, right here at Unity Radio. That's myself. Where are you going to see Mr. Tukey? We are Mr. Tukey! Woo! 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 Performances abroad. Now, what is it, what was it like performing outside Nigeria? Uh, for me, I think it's a big exposure. For me, I think it's a wonderful experience to to actually go out from here and then see that um, people in the UK are celebrating me. People in the UK are actually um, dancing to my tune okay. and seeing that Afrobeat is doing good. The reception from the people is good as well. Crafting's record. Actually, I got that song from here in Nigeria, uh, on the streets of Port Harcourt, inspiration. The words is just for the ladies actually, Bubu Gaga. Simply, I'm just trying to appreciate the women actually. So, I started of creating my own word to do that. So, I came up with the word Bubu Gaga, which simply means a curvy woman. I don't know what to say. Now I remember. I met this girl for the one back. Port Harcourt girls over. In the UK, there's a campaign. Hopefully, there's gonna go on for it to get into the English dictionary. You know, so, bubu gaga, and everything like that. So, yes, bubu It's more like an adjective. Uh, a lot of people, when they go from one point to the next, and they get more famous, and things start moving along, you know, and they're better known, they tend to compromise a little bit and lose themselves in it. He hasn't done that. It's still the same, same flavor, maybe a new version of that same flavor, but it still has that same flavor, still that Port Harcourt thing, which I think is a great thing for him to be pushing, because that's what makes him him, and not just a face in the crowd. Grafton's has been a part of his success from the beginning of his career up until now. I'm just tired, yeah. Also known as Big T, CEO for Grafton Entertainment. Uh, Grafton Entertainment is a recording label and an entertainment and event management company as well. Uh, established in 2004. It's also an established company in the UK as well. I think it's been success working with Mr. 2K because um, we have been uh, growing in a steady pace with him, you know, as a brand. Mr. 2K just broke some boundaries in the UK with his single Bubu Gaga. And um, the first time we got an African artist getting that kind of recognition in terms of the daily media actually reviewing his singles and giving him a four star rating in the UK. For me, that's a welcoming. Um, Success. Like, yeah, actually, my relationship with Grafton is just like a father and a son, just like Eminem and Dr. Dre. You know, it's, a, it's business, it's family business. It's humility and the fact that he wants to be corrected when he's wrong. You know, uh, because he understands it's a business. Yo, what a go on, man? How you doing? You all right, yeah? Welcome to Raven 93.7. My name's DJ Sose. You alright, yeah? Right now, we're listening to Boo Boo Gaga. Boo Boo Gaga! African Boo Boo Gaga. Can I touch your Boo Boo Gaga? Fine, pretty, big, or anything. Ah, what is smoking cigar? I have two videos, because I have a main, the main song and the remix of it. So, I have two videos for the main one and the remix as well. Right, the remix. Where did you shoot the remix? The two videos were shot in the UK, shot in London, uh, by the same director as well. Oh. The idea from Mosaic Belladion was awesome, if you ask me, because it's like me in search of a particular girl that has what I'm talking about. So, and I have Mologo beside me in that video. So for him, every girl he says, every girl he says to him is Obugashes. 
So me, I was just waiting to see that very girl. So when May 7 came through, and I said, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So she was actually the, the definition of football guy, and she also played a role in it. She did very well in the part as well. So good legs from her, good looks. She's actually... Bubu gushes. <laughs> So in the building right here, Capital Extra, I've got um, the Bubu Gaga team, uh, Mr. 2K and Malogo. What is a Bubu Gaga? Bubu Gaga simply means a Covey lady, a beautiful Covey lady. what lady? A beautiful Covey lady. We should try and get that word into the English dictionary. Yeah, Bubu Gaga. It sounds like what a child could do. Like a child blabbing. I did think it was some type of child thing. Yeah. I, just thought, <laughs> I just thought it was a monkey so. child. Bubu <laughs> <laughs> Gaga, Bubu Gaga. <laughs> Well, um, tomorrow is your birthday. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> hey, happy birthday to me. Yes, happy birthday to you, Mr. TK. Um, you are actually celebrating mm -hmm. and yeah. premiering your... My new, new video, video as well. My new Tell song. us about it. Um, it's a great song called Don't Leave Me. The video was shot by Adasa, okay. which is square ball, Adasa Cookie. And it was shot in, in Lagos. Um, the video featured um, Shailo, two comedians, Shailo and Funny Bone, uh, and I have more models. And then I, I featured the Cameroonian, which is a sign on the um, Achievers Music. The name is Excelente and Dore as well. So I featured two guys on the very song. Uh, they did very well. The video, everything, the models that came to uh, perfect. The location was important, and everything, and the idea behind it from uh, from Square Ball was good. the less privileged, Mr. 2K has an ongoing charity project. I'll be what I'm designed for you. 